Let me explain this dude. He's a comedian. He's an actor. He's a singer. He's a rapper. This dude is so funny, man. This is my man right here. Vice Side, you better put your hands together for him right here, yo. Yeah. Hi, everybody. What's up? How you doing? I'm good. You having fun tonight? Yeah. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. And this is all I'm going to say about Valentine's Day because I didn't prepare anything about Valentine's Day. I saw recently an advertising, okay, for a razor. The new Gillette Philips Wilkinson Pro Turbo 9000 GTS new generation. 19 blades for the perfect shape. 19 blades. What am I supposed to do with 19 blades? Cut a tree or what? I mean, I just want to shave myself, you know? Three or four blades should be more than enough, right? They're inventing products nowadays, I don't get it, really. Have you heard, for example, of the new Oral-B 7000 toothbrush? No. No? no. This is a toothbrush with Bluetooth. <laughs> I swear, it's true connected to your smartphone for a personalized oral hygiene program. Yeah. <laughs> a fucking toothbrush with Bluetooth. I mean, what comes next? What comes next? Toilet paper with Bluetooth? <laughs> for a personalized ass hygiene program? <laughs> Special diarrhea option? I don't know. What the fuck will they... What will they invent next? I don't know. All these products, you know, but the best ads I've ever seen, man, they are for detergents. Ads for detergents. They are saying in their own ads that their product is shit. You know? Look at Brazil, for example. Brazil. They have two products. They have the pearls and they have the powder. Okay? And in one ad, they are telling you that the pearls are more concentrated, cheaper, and they wash more dirt away than powder. So my question is, who are the idiots who are still buying the powder if the pearls are cheaper and better? I don't understand. Maybe dirt fans. I don't know. Maybe there are people who love dirt and stains, you know? Like, yeah, some cappuccino on my shirt. It's nice. I like that. Oh, yeah, baby. Put some more red wine on the sofa. I love that. Huh? Don't worry. We'll wash it with powder. The stains will stay. Don't worry. I don't know, maybe there are people like that, I don't know. But even the pearls, they are not that awesome, right? Because they only wash more dirt away than powder. They don't wash the whole dirt away. <laughs> Meaning whatever you buy, you're still gonna have dirty stuff. This is shit, right? <laughs> Shitty products. Same principle for cigarettes. They are even telling you on the pack of cigarettes, this is shit, don't buy it. You know these health warnings on cigarette packs? They are getting bigger and bigger every year. Yes, you have a show, show it to people so that they all can see. Maybe some people never saw a pack of cigarettes before. <laughs> and, you know, in two years, you won't even see the brand anymore. You know, you'll be like going in a tobacco shop. Hello, could I buy please a pack of smoke causes cancer and heart diseases, please? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You won't even see the ad anymore. That's crazy. I have a computer at home. Amazing, right? <laughs> I know. But my problem is, I'm so bad with computers, you know. I don't know shit about computers. I don't understand shit. I'm like an IT illiterate, really. To give you an idea, I need 30 minutes to reset my password. I swear. It's complicated. Last time I tried to reset my password, I put a password. Do you know what the computer tells me? Your password is too weak. <laughs> My password is too weak, huh? <laughs> you talking to me, huh? <laughs> My password is too weak, okay. You want a strong password? I give you a strong password, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You fucking pussy, get on my nerves, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, exclamation point, exclamation point, question mark, question mark, star, 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 hashtag, 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 shut the fuck up.
No, I'm back. <laughs> that was a small trick. And I was talking about what actually now? Passwords. Sorry? Passwords. Ah yes, passwords. Exactly. Yes, I give you. It was a strong password, right? No, not for my computer. Should I repeat the password? Man, this is complicated, man. Okay, I'll repeat it for you, just for you. I hit your fucking PC, one, two, three, four, four, five, seven, seven, nine. Exclamation point, exclamation point, question mark, question mark, star, 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 hashtag, 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 shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know what the computer tells me? There is at least one capital letter missing. I swear, I snapped. I was, what the fuck? Why the fuck would you need a capital letter? What the fuck, man? Okay, okay. You need a capital letter? All right. How about seven capital letters? Fuck you, fucking PC, man. I hate this shit. <laughs> Thank God, I have geek friends, nerds, you know, that can help me out with all IT-related matters. You know what the geek is, right? The nerd. It's a guy who can talk for 30 minutes about TCP protocol and firewall. <laughs> who tips on his keyboard like this, without even looking at the keyboard. And who loves movies like Hobbit or shit like that, you know. <laughs> and thank God I have such friends, you know. But sometimes these friends, they think I'm one of them, you know. And they start talking to me in their geek nerd language. Thinking I understand them, you know, last time he came to me and said, Hey Wally, I downloaded a new app. With this app I can connect my USB 3.0 directly to internet without a cable and I can transfer data by wireless internet on an iCloud hotspot and I can do this with my smartphone, isn't that awesome? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, that's awesome, man, yeah. Wow, this with the iCloud is really nice. <laughs> No idea what the iCloud is, but yeah, yeah, that's good. I also downloaded a new app, yeah. <gasps> awesome app, man. Facebook, you know it? Uh, Facebook, I'm a Facebook junkie. I'm a fucking Facebook addict, I admit, really. Sometimes, you know, whenever I hear this sound, you know, this message sound from Facebook, and I don't find immediately my phone, I go, in, I turn into a psychopath. I'm like, shh, where's my phone? That's my phone, man. I got a message on Facebook. And it's my phone. Man. What the fuck? What the fuck is... Okay, it's here. It's here. No problem. <laughs> All right. New message. So, new message from Mohammed. Okay? What is he writing? Are you sleeping? Question mark. Interesting question. What should I answer? I'm going to answer yes. <laughs> <laughs> you two did it, right? I know everyone does it. It's like, you know, a diplomatic way of saying, fuck off, I don't want to talk to you right now, right? So let's check the status. Interesting status. Oh, that's one interesting status, man. Good night, smiley. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's my nice status, man. Let's check other status. Ah, one very interesting status. It rains, sad smiley. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't know, should I like it or not? <laughs> I mean, I don't like rain in principle, you know? But sometimes it's nice. You know, sometimes rain pouring on your face, like in Take That video, you know? <laughs> I never seen, I never a thing that did me there. I just want you back for good. Thank you. That was my small take that attack. I have it once a month, approximately. And rain also is useful for agriculture, right? So what should I, what should I say? I know, I'm not gonna like it. I'm just gonna comment. I'm gonna comment, yes, it rains. Ah, shit, I got the wrong smile. Shit, 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 that always happens. Okay, don't panic. Control Z for the geeks. <laughs> Smiley, post! Woohoo! 
This is how I spend my time on Facebook. It's sad but true. <laughs> but there's one last thing I want to say about Facebook. It's something I got on my heart now for a long time. And Sorry, I'm getting a bit emotional. <laughs> Candy crush invitations? <laughs> I can't take it anymore, I swear. I'm getting invitations to play Candy Crush every day from the same person. You can't turn them off. <laughs> really? <laughs> I told you, I'm an IT illiterate. Did I say it before? Okay, so now I have, I have the actual now uh, solution. But you know what happened? When I get these invitations, you know, always from the same person. And I'm asking myself, and officially, I want to ask this person tonight, officially, why? Why do you send me this invitation? What is wrong with you? Is it so important for you that I play Candy Crush? <laughs> if you see me in the street tomorrow, will you ask me, hey, have you, have you played Candy Crush? <laughs> I hate this. All right, that was it for me. Thank you very much. Thank you guys,